pomp and ceremony for the two-day meeting in Accra, but the credibility of West African regional bloc ECOWAS is on the line. Defence chiefs from across the region are focused on a potential so-called last resort military solution against coup leaders in Niger. Let no one be in doubt that if everything else fails, the valiant forces of West Africa, both the military and the civilian components, are ready to answer to the call of duty. Diplomatic efforts by numerous delegations including ECOWAS, the African Union, CHAD, the UN and the US, all bids to find a peaceful solution to the crisis, have so far failed. The military leaders of the coup in Niger have formed what they say is a transitional government and not only are they still refusing to free detained democratically elected President Mohamed Barzoum, but they are now putting him on trial for treason. A move ECOWAS and many in the international community say blatantly contradicts the junta's pledge to find a peaceful solution to the crisis. In Niger, ECOWAS sanctions and the suspension of international humanitarian aid is beginning to bite, and it's the people, many of whom support the coup, who are suffering the most. We fled in security to come here. We're tired. Some days I find food, other days I don't find food. Some days I can work and other days I can't. Some analysts say there is no unity among ECOWAS member states on how best to respond. Now you are hearing across the region, particularly from the parliament, from the people, and even from some member states, notably from Cape Verde, which is the leading democratic state, that they are opposed to any use of military force. So this is a project that is no longer consensual. Disunity amongst West African states, political opposition within them, the danger of potentially causing a wider regional war and the risk of giving armed groups like Al-Qaeda and ISIL the opportunity to take advantage and launch more attacks. Despite these dangers, it seems that West African defence chiefs are far from taking the military option off the table yet. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Accra.